Hey everyone, it's Lord City is here. Today we are going to be talking about the infection refresh that happened over the weekend. We had the addition of eight new maps. I'm not going to talk to about them very much. I'm going to show the intros. We have Boarding Pass here, which takes place in a subway. We have Dubloon, which is like a pirate ship kind of dock hangout place. Probably my least favorite new map. We got Freak Show, which is an abandoned carnival. It was also a popular infection custom map before I made it into matchmaking. We got Ghoul Town, which is a remake of Halo 3's Ghost Town. It's a pretty cool map. We got Hellfire, which is just a variant of Molten. Very small map. I'm not a huge fan of this one either. We got Lunar, which takes place on the moon. Uh, this map is okay. It's definitely different, so I dig that. I'm loving the camera angle as well in the intro. We got Storms In, which was another popular custom infection map before it made it into matchmaking. And we got Studio 17, which I also think is a very cool new map that was added. Probably my favorite one that was added. Now before I go into the major refreshes of all the different maps, I'm going to do everyone's favorite and I'm going to bitch a little bit. Um, as I mentioned in the kind of intro of the video, I hate Dubloon. As you can see in this clip, there's just too many hiding spots for humans. All these houses, they've got crates that they can block off the entrances. Um, and Every single round people are holding up in there and when you got multiple people it's pretty um, difficult to penetrate their fortress or their holdout or whatever you want to call it. The other problem with Dubloon is people will get up on top of the houses with sniper rifles, with hydras, whatever other weapon they can find and they just pick you off with ease and it's extremely frustrating so hopefully I won't be getting that map too many times in matchmaking now another big complaint I have is that Rex have made their way into infection as you see here I have a void tear there's also gunfighter magnum on molten there is our uh, rocket turret on Lunar and that was not too much of a deal because you know it's slow but there's also the arc light which is right there on Studio 17 it's also on power installation 484 and tactical magnum and silenced SMG are on several of the maps as well now let's get into some of the major changes from the nine core maps that were in the first uh, release of infection. So we've got Backwoods here, which got a bit of a makeover aesthetically. One of the big changes is that the well is no longer a kill zone. As you can see here, the DMR now spawns down there at the bottom of the well. It's a great spot if you're alpha to just kind of wait for people to drop down the well, try and get that DMR, and boop, there they go. They're dead. Um, I actually like that. I kind of thought it was weird that the well was a kill zone in the original. It's pretty cool that they've changed that. There's also a little room over here, which didn't used to be there, that used to just kind of be blocked off. Uh, I don't believe there's any weapon in there. There's always people in there already before I get there. And the cave area over here where people used to kind of chill out is a lot different and a lot easier for zombies to shoot. Now let's talk about Black Friday, which was one of the most broken maps in the original Infection playlist. And it got a much needed drastic overhaul. First change, as you see here, the place where people would hide under with the rocket launcher is gone. 
over here where people with the CE pistol spawn and people would camp and all that stuff. It's been completely uh, remastered, um, changed, and I'm, I'm loving the change right there. It makes it a lot more open and, and maneuverable. And then we got the arcade right here, which looks a lot more like an arcade than the previous version did. Very cool. And uh, this whole area, one of the worst spots, you know, where people would hide down below and they would come over here and they would buddy jump and get into the glitch spot down below. That's all gone. Uh, that's all been redone. As you can see, it's all flattened and whatnot. Infection. Drill site, I'm not going to really spend too much time on. The refresh was mainly a aesthetic, not, you know, maybe a new crate here and a new crate there. Same thing for Malignant, mainly a, a aesthetic with very few minor changes. Now, Nerve Center did get one big change, as you can see here. This whole area is blocked off. Other than that, Nerve Center was also mainly aesthetic changes. Infection. Power Installation 484 also got a lot of changes got quite the makeover first off you know right where you spawn in right here one of the common first spawn parts is completely different completely remodeled things added things taken away it's you know not as um, linear as it was before um, also the rocket launcher has been replaced with an arc light I'm not sure if the arc light spawns in the same spot that the rocket launcher spawned in, but as you can see it there, um, it has replaced the rocket launcher. And the pistol and the splinter grenade still spawn right there, but somebody had already taken it. Uh, as you can see, there's this little building right here that wasn't there before, um, which is good because people would get up there with a the sniper rifle and just, you know, bang bang all day. Like I said, power installation 484 got quite the makeover. One of the biggest changes, as you can see right here, is this whole area has been blocked off. You can still go, you know, through down down through the stairs with that switch, but I, we're boom wall. You, you can't. There's no Gauss gun. Over there, I know it's still on the map, but I'm not quite sure where it is on the map. Up there, where I was shooting, is now where the Halo CE pistol spawns on power installation 484. Riptide, again, mainly a aesthetic changes. Won't be talking about it. Station Zulu, biggest change was a aesthetic. As you can see, it looks like it went through a deep freeze. Um, but also the two pistols on the map seem to not be there anymore as you can see here the the main pistol right at the beginning is gone and the second pistol spot also did not hold a pistol I do not know if the pistol is still on that map I guess I'll see eventually the crypt also mainly a aesthetic the biggest change would be over here where people would just kinda camp out and use long-range weapons over here to the left that rock you can't get on anymore but other than that, mainly a aesthetic. Overall, I would give the Infection Refresh a B plus. Very few minor complaints from me. I hope you all enjoyed this refresh review. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to tune in tomorrow for my community subscriber Infection Killionaire Special for Halloween.